is a comedian whose new album, Hello, Mr. Magic Plane Person, Hello, debuted at number one on the comedy charts and who hosts a weekly stand-up show at Meltdown Comics in Hollywood. Please welcome the very funny Jonah Ray. <laughs> Everybody, how's it going? No, I'm, right? We're all having fun. Because you know why? It's the summer. No? Yeah. The summertime. I'm excited for summertime because the summertime means pool parties. I'm an adult. I love pool parties. Not so much for the swimming, though, because I'm kind of a shirt on in the pool kind of guy. My body kind of looks like a heroin addict that's also really into pizza. Uh, what I like about pool parties is the, uh, the most pure joke you could ever do at any pool party is to push somebody into the pool who didn't want to go in the pool. It's the, all you got to do is this. No setup, no punch, just this motion, and then you become the king of the party. Hell, the king of summer, really. And you just, because like, it's the best thing. You push them into the pool, and they didn't want to go in the pool, and now they're all wet, and that's great. Thing is, 15 years ago, that was a hilarious joke. Nowadays, you push somebody into the pool, and you ruin their lives pretty much for the next three weeks. <laughs> They're like, oh man, my phone, all my numbers are gone. Well, my iPod, all my songs didn't have those backed up. I, my iPad, I was writing a novel on my iPad. <laughs> I was gonna be the first guy that did that, now that's all gone. 15 years ago, you push somebody in the pool, they go, oh, my LA light stopped blinking. <laughs> oh. oh man, pass me that Crystal Pepsi. That's, that's two references, two references right there. I have a tattoo uh, of a penguin on my arm. It's my favorite animal, that's why I got it. It'd be weird if it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> I love penguins so much, so I got the tattoo. And my friend, when I got the tattoo, uh, I, I was like, hey, I got a penguin tattoo. He was like, what? You know tattoos last the rest of your life. I go, I know what a tattoo is. You're kind of sending jerk. <laughs> I don't know why I'm friends with him, really. And uh, he says, are you gonna like penguins for the rest of your life? I was like, well, yeah. What are penguins gonna do? What are penguins gonna do that's gonna really mess that up for me? Are they gonna put out a bad album? I gotta go, oh, the penguins used to be so good. <laughs> totally sold out penguins. Is there gonna be a time in the future where someone goes, hey, hear about those penguins in South Africa? No, what happened? Turns out all of them, racist homophobes. Oh, penguins. I have a mammal swastika on my arm. That's not good. Uh, I, uh, I like drinking a lot. It's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, if you haven't tried it. If you haven't tried it, go for it. It is delightful. Uh, what I like is a good excuse to drink, especially during the day, which is the best time to drink. Uh, I, li I like day drinking a lot, and I like a good excuse because I like, you know what I like? A sad friend. A sad friend going through a hard time with a girl is the best excuse to drink whenever you want, because you could justify that to your girlfriend, like why you're drinking during the day. It's like, what am I supposed to do, Sheila? Fake girlfriend I just made up, Sheila? <laughs> Why aren't you up there, Sheila? You're very tall, Sheila. What am I supposed to do? He's my best friend. I'm going to leave him here by himself. He's going through a hard time. What, what's that? Well, yeah. I got Irish car bombs. I got a whole mess of Irish car bombs. He needs to disconnect. What's that? Yeah, I got wings. His ex-girlfriend never let him have wings ever. Wait, wait, what's that? I don't know when he's going to get here. <laughs> well, when he does, he's going to see how good of a friend I am. <laughs> the best friend. That wants to, he wants to go to Mexico. Right, Jonah Ray, a good friend. Uh, but I've been that sad friend before. I've been that guy that needs a little help, a little, uh, uh, I've, I've been sad a lot, but uh, you know, I, I constantly fantasize about uh, suicide. It's weird, it's, it's kind of a hobby of mine. It's a, uh, because doing suicide is not really a hobby. What's, what's a hobby is something you can only do once. I just, uh, but I fantasize about it quite often. And uh, I just, uh, but I, I can never do it. So what I've done is I've uh, written a very uh, vague suicide note to take with me wherever I go. Just in the case that I die in some crazy way, everyone will think it was a planned thing. <laughs> it's like, like I'm walking down the street and I get hit by lightning and I, I die. And then people are like, oh my God, they run into my smoldering body. Oh my God, he got hit by lightning. That's, hold on, there's a note. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, no way, no way. Oh man, I didn't know he could control the elements. <laughs> He's like that Thor guy from earlier. That's, that is something. Always wants to have the rest. Or you could do it the other way. You could just have a, a note that's uh, just kind of vague where it's, uh, you know, any way you die, be it of uh, natural causes or an accident or anything, it could just, uh, the note can just say, no matter what this looks like, it was no accident. You have to avenge my death. Fly to Brussels tonight. 
And it's a way to keep on giving after you've gone. I, uh, I do, before I get out of here, it's, I'm going to take this opportunity to register a complaint, uh, if you uh, don't mind. Uh, the store TJ Maxx. Now, I don't really care about the store either way. It's more of the fact that they took the coolest name in the world, <laughs> TJ Maxx, with two X's. TJ, you can't say that TJ Maxx isn't the coolest name ever. TJ Maxx should be the name of some store. It should be the name of the coolest kid we all went to high school with. <laughs> We still tell stories about TJ Maxx. You remember TJ Maxx? Yeah, I remember TJ Maxx, my best friend, TJ Maxx. Remember that one time TJ Maxx boned everybody? I know! <laughs> well, you let him do it, even me. I didn't care, TJ Maxx, two X's, awesome. <laughs> remember that one time TJ Maxx stole the school then drove it off of a ramp over five other schools? <laughs> oh man, the coolest, TJ Maxx, so much cooler than Ross. <laughs> way, way cooler than Ross. All right, everybody, I've been John Ray, thank you so much. Very funny. John Array!